Well, good morning there. Hopefully you're having a nice morning so far. Welcome here to CT Style. I'm Ryan Christopher. I'm Marisol Castro in for Teresa Dufour, who is on maternity leave. Uh, exciting night last night I hear for you, Marisol. And for you too. Well, let's talk about your night first. Well, listen, so uh, parents out there, you know, back to school night comes before, y you know, your kid hasn't even filled his locker. Sure. And so the mommies and I decided we went, we listened to the orchestra teacher, and then we had an hour to kill. So we just. So what do moms do when, well, when you have an hour to kill? Well, this pack of moms decided to walk, not run. We uh, walked down to the uh, local watering hole. Yes. We may or may not have had a glass of rosé. A glass? Only a glass? That's what we're going to call okay, it now. Okay. Um, and then we came back in time to finish up back to school night. It was fantastic. It was the best back to school night I've ever had. I, I assume so. And I'm, <laughs> I'm sure you and the teacher really got along well. Uh, I'm sure you got extra points I, for I that one. I would like to thank uh, all the good folks at the uh, public school where my <laughs> child goes to school for embracing us with open arms after that back to school night. Very cool. Sounds like an exciting evening. It pales in comparison to what you did last night. I, I have to apologize if I'm a little off today. I'm a little tired because I had a wild wild night last night. I stopped by the Watertown Senior Center. We have a picture of me and my new buddies over here. Look at you. We have Dee there. We have uh, Kathy. There were a, a lot of wonderful people there. It's, the, it, it's the so nice because senior citizens. I like it. they were they were you know we we had a little flirtation going on mm -hmm. but it, I mean it was great because this generation they have so many great stories to share and it's it was, the greatest it, it, it was nice generation. the greatest generation. Yeah. Uh, we were talking about World War II. Oh, we, wow. we shared some key lime pie so we, we had a great time wow. and uh, being up in Watertown I I figured, I think I know somebody who lives Aha, over in that area. So why not? Teresa was up over nice. there, so had to, of course, stop There's by her house. There's the baby. Little Dante, he's 12 they look pounds great. now. Getting he's 12 big. pounds already. He's smiling, he's walking, Aww. he's reading books. <gasps> now, what? Now, this, I, I have to tell you a little bit about this. I, I fed him two bottles, wow. uh, and I have a new breast friend. Ah, right. That's the whole right. This is the, the pillow, yes, right, the that pillow. you were using? It was my first time using the breast friend, and it was an interesting experience. So it's a little I thing, you, you, you clip it on yeah, here. And you, she's training you. She's getting you ready for one day, if one you decide. One day. Eventually, it may to happen. Procreate. We'll see, but I uh, had a great time, so it was always good, good. to catch up with her. So good it was to a see Teresa and Dante. Fun night. Now, uh, coming up this weekend, mm -hmm. we're participating in the Closer to Free ride. That's right. I, I have to ride 25 miles, so hopefully I'll be ready for that. You're totally going to nail it. I don't know. I haven't ridden a bike since, like, the eighth grade. But uh, <laughs> anyways, we're riding with the News 8 team. Uh, Noel Gardner is riding. Our executive producer, Connie Fitch. Kate Bauman is also riding from our station. And the, the cool thing is that 100% of the dollars raised go directly to supporting patient care and research at Smilo Cancer Hospital at Yale New Haven. So, uh, you know, obviously at some point in your life, I'm, I'm sure you've been impacted, you at home, mm -hmm. by, by uh, somebody having cancer. I sure. know my cousin Megan, she's very young. She had cervical cancer, so that's kind of oh who goodness. I'm dedicating this ride to. Right. And also to all of the viewers out there, to, to anybody who's been uh, affected by cancer in your life, uh, this one's going out to you. So. Uh, our team, we, we still have some money to raise. So we mm -hmm. want to ask you kindly to please make a donation. Head on uh, over, yeah. Yeah, Facebook. We've made it very easy for, for people to donate. All you got to do is go over there. There's a little post there. So you just click on that, make a, a small, affordable donation. Uh, we need your help, so we would yep. greatly appreciate that. Until there's a cure, there is no finish line. Absolutely. That's what so they like to say. It's going to be a, a good event this weekend now. Uh, speaking of somebody else who's riding on two wheels. Right. Uh, apparently, you know, how do you get to work in the morning? Uh, scooter, normally. <laughs> Segway. Segway. A handstand. Scooter. I walk. Yeah. Washington Redskins <laughs> running back Alfred Morris has a different way to get to work. Yes, he takes his bike uh, in a parking lot full of Bentleys and Beamers. The running back is opting to ride his bike to practice. I guess when Morris isn't parked in the reserved <laughs> spot, you'll find his, what he calls his Bentley. It's a 1991 Mazda that he refuses to part ways with. Sometimes, you know, it doesn't matter how much money you make. It's also friendlier for the environment, That's the bike. Why, yeah, or, or handstands, as you said. That's always a viable option. <laughs> that is always a viable option. Have, have you ever had any weird ways of commuting to work? Obviously, the subway I, when you were the, in New York. Yeah, in New York City, you take the subway, mm -hmm. which I like to call the Iron Horse. Uh, and that's about it. I, I used to have this bicycle that I, I built, my mom's boyfriend built, where it was a, it's a bicycle, and then you put a motor on it, and it was like a little moped. So I, I rode it to work, and I had a little, <laughs> wee, 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 wee. So obviously chicks it dig go? that. Yeah, it, it didn't really work out too well. All right, now, Marisol, can, can you pronounce this word? Try, try this word out. Wow. Lanferwilibajikadibadisiliogogogochich. That was close enough, right? <laughs> 
<laughs> what is Guys it? With a good sort, sort of kind of. Well, yeah. there's a weatherman uh, in the UK that pronounced this name. It's of a Wales village seamlessly. Check this out. But in the sunshine in northwest Wales at RAF Mona, just up the road from Clan Byrd Push Wing, it's got Gerek Windrobo, Clan to Silio Go Go Go. Holy smokes, he nailed it! I think you could have pronounced that last night at your parent teacher conference. Yeah, apparently, after that rose. Right. Now, there's apparently 58 characters in it. Uh, now, there's a shorter version, but we can't, we can't really even pronounce, pronounce that, one. that either. Yeah. Yeah. But there, there is a, a long form that was invented. Uh, in the 1860s for promotional purposes and and there's also a place uh, here in Massachusetts that a lake, that, right? a, a lake that we are going to try to pronounce let's okay. see if we can do this you we're going to put first. it up on the screen uh, Lake Chargo that was correct right uh, we've successfully offended every person that's ever visited that like hey if you know how to pronounce it's that beautiful. name correctly um, I don't know. Call, Call us. us. Send us a fax. Call him. Yes, it's coming up on the show today. <laughs>